Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am super excited for. I have got the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA collaboration, Skin Frost in my hands. So this video is going to be all about this little product. If you guys like the sound of this, then stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so on the front of the packaging we have the obvious Jeffree Star logo. We also have the Crescent Moon for Manny MUA, and I know that he has featured this on his collaboration with Makeup Geek. I know that this is the sort of little symbol that he uses on his YouTube channel. So this is just beautiful. I literally am obsessed with the way that they've put this together. The packaging is amazing. This is definitely something that I'll be keeping my hands on. Normally when I take something out of the box uh, product wise I normally just get rid of the cardboard packaging but I feel like this one is going to be staying in its package in my makeup drawer. So on the front of the package it just says Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA and obviously that it's the Skin Frost. On the back of the box it just says vegan, cruelty free, you better glow bitch. That is just so Jeffree Star and so Manny MUA. It's ridiculous. Long lasting extreme beauty, the definition of highlight on fleek. So anybody that knows me knows I am obsessed with highlighters. Um, my highlighter of choice at the minute is the, the Balm uh, Mary Lou. I've been using that for months and months, absolutely love it. So I was dying to get my hands on this and try out something new. As I say, the packaging is just beautiful. It's sort of a reflective motif on the front with the silver writing, which I think is amazing. And then the top of the box just has the name of the product, which is in the shade Eclipse. So this is Stickered Shut. Now I have seen a few videos on YouTube in the last couple of hours of people tearing through these stickers and it just really annoys me. Easier, easier to open the box from the bottom and get into it. So once you open the box from the bottom, the inside of the packaging is this sort of hot pink colour, which is just beautiful. Don't know how many times I'm gonna say the word beautiful in this video, but hey ho. So once you open them up, you have the actual compact. So on the front of the compact, it just says Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and it's got the Jeffree Star logo on the front. Okay, so I know that last year's summer launch products were sort of hot pink with the reflective logos. I know that the holiday season products that came out sort of around winter Christmas time, they were in a red package. So this one is really, really simple. It's just black. It has the reflective logo on the front and it's just beautiful. I literally, I'm obsessed with the way that this looks. This is definitely something that's gonna be super easy to carry around in your bag as well. So, on the back of the packaging, we just have again, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Skin Frost and Eclipse, and again, the writing on the back of the package is in this bright pink color, which I'm obsessed with. Opening up the compact, we have, because it's brand new, I always struggle to open compacts. Why can I not do this? Okay, so when you open up the compact, you're greeted with this huge, huge mirror, which is amazing. I love putting highlighters in my makeup bag to take out with me if I'm going somewhere or if I'm going to an event or going out for the night. And the thing that really bugs me about them is that they don't have mirrors in them. So this is just beautiful. It's got a huge mirror. We've got the actual compact here and the pressed powder, which again has the Crescent Moon and the Jeffree Star star in the middle of it and I haven't swatched this I haven't even touched the powder yet so I'm super super excited to swatch this and show you guys what it looks like and um, I've seen a couple of reviews online as well with people claiming that this is super similar to the Becca Jacqueline Hill collaboration for the Champagne Pop so I'm excited to see if this does sort of match up to that standard because that is one of my all-time favorite highlighters so let's do some swatches Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna do anything fancy, I'm literally just gonna first of all swatch this with my finger. Like I say, you can tell by looking at the pan I haven't actually swatched this at all yet, so I'm really, really, really excited. Okay. Okay, so the formula is really, really buttery. It doesn't feel dry and powdery. I almost don't wanna rub my finger in it too much because I don't wanna ruin the emblem on the front of the powder. So let me just pop that down and I will swatch this on my arm as usual. Okay, so for the finger swatch like that, I mean the lighting in here today is quite good, it is quite sunny outside and it's not showing up fantastically. However, I do know that this product can be layered, so what we'll do is I'm going to apply it to my face, show you guys how it looks and then we're going to sort of do one side as I would an everyday highlight and the other side we're going to amp it up a little bit and see what kind of colour payoff we can get with it. So, yesterday when my package from Beauty Bay did get delivered, I also ordered um, a new fan brush. So this is the Morphe G23 fan brush and it just looks like this. I actually really like this. It's got a silver handle which is quite nice. So this just comes out of its packaging. 
Oh, this brush is so soft. So soft. Okay, so I'm not gonna apply any MAC Fix Plus to my brush. We're just gonna literally go in with how it is. So I'm gonna do the right hand side of my face, a normal highlight. We'll just go in with sort of a light coat. And then on the left hand side of my face, I'm gonna go in with a couple of layers. We'll see what kind of color build that we can build up with it. So I'm just gonna slightly swatch that round in the actual pan. can see already that there is a lot of fallout on my face. I don't know if that's usual with Jeffree Star products. I actually don't own any of the other skin, uh, skin frost, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, so that is a couple of swipes of the skin frost. Now, in the mirror that I've got directly in front of me, that actually looks beautiful. It's super, super pigmented, and it looks quite natural, which is nice. However, we know that I like a good glow, so on the left hand side, I'm gonna go in a little bit more heavy handed, we're gonna do a few layers and see if we can build it up. So while I'm actually moving the brush around in the product, there is a lot of fallout sort of around the edge of the tray. Dust off some of that excess. I'm just gonna pop a little bit above my eyebrow like I normally do. I would say already from looking at this powder that on my sort of forehead here above my eyebrow where I popped it on, it's very sort of, very, very glittery. I was expecting it to be more of a sheen rather than a glitter. However, I really, really like it. So I'm gonna pop a little bit more on. I'm gonna see if we can build this up. We all know that Manny and Jeffree Star are the highlight queens, so it would not surprise me if this ends up being super, super amazing. Okay, so this can definitely, definitely be built up. So the highlight that we have here is popping. Hopefully that is showing up in camera as nicely as it is in the mirror that I've got in front of me. I am gonna go all out, pop a little bit on the edge of my nose, and a tiny bit down the center. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. This is the highlight with maybe two or three, two or three swipes in the pan and a few strokes on my cheek. This is beautiful. I am obsessed with the color of this. It is so me, it is ridiculous. Although now that I've done the left hand side a little bit brighter. I feel like the right hand side could probably do with being a little bit glowier. So I'm going to pop a tiny bit more on up here. Okay, so that has been built up on both sides. I am obsessed. It's a really sort of sheer, very, very pale pink highlight with sort of silver reflex and I absolutely love it. So I did do a little bit of research online as well to have a quick look at the weights and sort of the dimensions of the packaging and things like that. Now, when I went onto the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website, it was slightly confusing. So, we have the actual Skin Frost information on my phone, and it talks about Eclipse, the highlighter. It explains that it has the Jeffree Star logo, and obviously the moon embossed on the powder. And it says that the shade is a blinding pale icy peach, which I would completely agree with. This is very blinding and very peach, so it's definitely, definitely right. Then it goes on to talk about the liquid lipstick. So I'm wondering if the actual weight that we've got listed on the screen I'm looking at here, which says 0.19 ounces, I'm actually wondering if that is to do with the liquid lipstick. There isn't any information that I can see on this page in regards to how much this product, what sort of weight of product you're actually getting. So I can't tell you. Okay, so the Skin Frost cost me 25 pounds in the UK. And I know that in the States, these are, are they $29? I think they're $29. So they're not cheap, however, I do think that with the pan size being as large as it is, it's gonna last for quite a long time, which is great. I just have to be super careful that I don't break this and I don't break the mirror inside the compact either because I do have a habit of doing that. But yeah, I am super, super impressed with it. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like the powder does have a lot of fallout. I've just sort of wiped my finger around the edge of the pan and there is already a lot of product sort of on the mirror, around the actual plastic and things like that, which I'm not mad keen on. I've also got it all over my fingers now from wiping it all over the thing, all over the plastic. And yeah, it's transferred onto the front of the compact, which is gonna annoy the hell out of me. So I'll probably have to be, I'll probably want to be cleaning this every time I've used it with a face wipe or something like that. 
However, I absolutely love it. I know that £25 is quite pricey for a highlighter and it's definitely one of the sort of higher end ones. I know that you can get some great highlighters from brands like MUA, Collection, brands like that, that are all sort of drugstore brands. But I do think sometimes it's nice to treat yourself and get something that, you know, that you're really excited about. I was so, so excited, like I say, for getting this and luckily Beauty Bay was stocking them. The only thing I would say that I was slightly annoyed about is the fact that Beauty Bay are the only retailer in the UK that are actually stocking this collab. However, you cannot buy the full set. So you can't buy the highlighter and the two liquid lipsticks. You have to buy each item individually. Now, just to have another little rant. Yesterday, tickets went on sale for Beauty Bay in the UK. Not on sale, sorry, they were free tickets for the meetup with Jeffree Star and Manny Ami Way. So they didn't release how many tickets were gonna be available. They didn't tell anybody. They just, all we knew was that they were gonna be London, Liverpool and Manchester sort of areas. And that's where you were gonna be able to go if you wanted to meet them. Tickets went on sale and I waited online probably for about three hours and I was queuing. I had my laptop, my phone, and I also had the tablet on with all the information loaded. So I was 800 and something in this queue. Bearing in mind, I'd been on the website that we needed to be on by sort of half nine in the morning and tickets went, I think it was, 11 o'clock that the tickets went live. So I waited in this queue, I kept checking it, seeing how long it was gonna be. I was checking Twitter, I was checking Facebook to try and find out if I was gonna be able to get tickets to this meetup. Before I was about to get to the front of the queue, the numbers started dropping dramatically. It turns out all the tickets had sold and I was absolutely livid. However, when I actually got home later on in the day, my Jeffree Star package had arrived. So that sort of made up for the fact that I didn't get tickets for the meetup. I was really, really looking forward to it though. I just thought it would have been so good. I was like really looking forward to meeting other people and everybody was like really getting involved on Facebook. Everybody was talking about the different areas that they were gonna to go to, how many tickets they wanted, what they, you know, what they were excited about. So yeah, that kind of put a bit of a dampener on the day yesterday. However, obviously the Beauty Bay package did finally arrive and that sort of, they put me in a little bit of a better mood. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. If you guys have already ordered this and you are obsessed with it like I am, drop me a comment and let me know in the comments box if you tried and tried yesterday to get tickets to any of the UK events for the meetups, give me a shout and let me know because I'm 99% sure that I am not the only person that was absolutely devastated by that yesterday. And yeah, like I say, hopefully you guys like this video. So I will see you guys in my next one.